Good evening, and welcome to Cal TV Election Desk. I'm your host, Laylee Ipsa. Well, the Republican National Convention is officially in the books. Last night, we heard from President Trump's oldest daughter, Ivanka Trump, as well as the president himself. And as you can see on your screen here, they spoke in front of a very large crowd. Most weren't practicing social distancing guidelines, and very few of them were wearing masks. During his speech, the president largely talked about his accomplishments during his first term, hit on the economy, and also talked about what he felt like was a successful response to the coronavirus pandemic. So now that the president has made his case, the question remains, was he successful? Cal TV's Rebecca Smith has the latest as she sat down with the external vice president of Berkeley College Republicans to get his insight on the RNC and what he feels like is Trump's path to victory. One slogan that has been repeated throughout this re-election campaign, as well as the Republican National Convention, is promises made, promises kept. What is one promise that Trump made during his campaign in 2016 that he has kept during his presidency that you believe makes the best case for his re-election? The biggest tribute to that would be the economy. Um, up until March of 2020, before COVID-19 kind of... Um, decimated the world economy. So I think he definitely made good on that promise to lower unemployment, increase uh, government spending in the right areas, and overall stimulate American economy while bolstering its national presence um, with Mexico and China in specific. Throughout the Republican National Convention, speakers have talked about the dangers of defunding the police. Trump continues his support of law enforcement and even tweeted on Wednesday, we will not stand for looting, arson, violence, and lawlessness on American streets. Do you believe Trump's rhetoric about law and order without acknowledging the pain and frustration of protesters is the message Republicans want? I think what Trump has been tweeting, such as we will not stand for looting and arson and violence, I think that's okay. But the idea of law and order, it seems to be more of a you know, stoking the fire that already exists within within the United States. The Democratic National Convention was completely virtual, and for the most part, the Republican National Convention was as well. In light of the ongoing pandemic, do you think it sends the right message to America to have Pence, the leader of the coronavirus task force, speak in front of a large crowd where masks weren't required? If the fact that they were in a large crowd without masks, um, that's dangerously incompetent, I would say. Um, it's just ridiculous. Um, Trump should know, and especially Pence, who's apparently the leader of the corona ta coronavirus task force. Baptiste went on to say that the Republican National Convention will not sway voters either way because Trump serves as the figurehead for the conservative party. He believes Republicans will still show up for Trump on November 3rd. Thanks, Rebecca. Okay, now that Democrats and Republicans have both had their conventions, what's next? Well, election day is about 66 days away, but early voting starts in just 21 days. So as we start to see people really gear up to head to the polls, we're going to also start seeing a lot more campaigning from the president as well as former Vice President Joe Biden. And they're going to also start getting ready because they're going to face off in the first round of presidential debates in about a month on September 29th. So be be sure to stay tuned to Cal TV Election Desk as we'll have a full debate analysis and rundown for you. All right, that's going to do it for me tonight. I'll see you next week on another episode of Cal TV Election Desk.